week. So, uh, well, as I shared with you moments ago, we are excited to have Pastor uh, Louisa come and to bring us the word to us this morning, and her husband, Raul, is going to translate for us. So will you join me in welcoming Pastor Mendoza this morning? Thank you, Pastor. Buenos días. Good morning. Yo soy Ruth y quiere decir amistad. I am Ruth and my name means friendship. El libro que lleva mi nombre fue escrito más o menos mil años antes de Jesucristo. The book that has my name was written almost a thousand years before the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. La tradición judía nos dice que tal vez fue el profeta Samuel que escribió este libro. The Jewish tradition tells us that it was more than likely that the prophet Samuel was the one that wrote this book. Pero el libro no nos dice nada al respecto. But the book does not mention anything about this. Yo soy de Moab. I am from Moab. Está al este del río Jordán. It's to the east of the River Jordan. Y es el país que se conoce hoy como Jordán. And is what nowadays is the country of Jordan. Moab fue el hijo mayor de Lot. Moab was the eldest son of Lot. Y Lot, como ustedes saben, fue el sobrino de Abraham. And Lot, as you all know, was the nephew of Abraham. Dios prohibió que los Moabitas entraran en la congregación de Israel. God prohibited the Moabites to enter into the congregation of the Israelites. Porque nosotros no los recibimos ni con pan ni con agua cuando salieron de Egipto. Because we did not receive them with any water or bread as they were coming out of the land of Egypt. Uno de nuestros reyes se llamaba Balak. One of our kings, his name was uh, Balak. Y él quiso pagar dinero a Balaam para que maldijera a Israel. And he wanted to pay a, uh, a money to uh, Balaam so that he would curse the Israelites. Las mujeres moabitas corrompieron a Israel. The Moabite women led Israel astray. Y finalmente, and finally, Hubieron muchas guerras entre Moab e Israel en el tiempo de los jueces. There were many battles between the Moabites and the Israelites in the time of the judges. Y ese es el tiempo en el que mi historia ocurrió. And that is the time period in which my story unfolds. El idioma de los Moabitas es muy similar al hebreo. The language of the Moabites is very similar to that of the Israelites. Cuando Noemí llegó a Moab de Israel con su familia, when Naomi uh, went to the land of Moab with her family, de, desde Israel, from Israel, no tuvimos problemas en comunicarnos. We had no problems communicating with them. Y cuando yo fui a Israel, and when I arrived in Israel, Tampoco tuve problemas en comunicarme. I didn't have any problems communicating with them either. El esposo de Noemí se llamaba Elimelech. Naomi's husband, his name was Elimelech. Él murió antes que me casara con su hijo Mahlon. He died before I got married to their eldest son, uh, Malon. Y su hermano menor, Kilion, se casó con mi amiga Orfa. And their smallest kid, or their younger brother, his younger brother, uh, was Kilion, and he married my friend Orpa. Mahlon y Kilion murieron. Both Malon and Kilion both died. Entonces quedamos tres viudas. So now there were three widows. Noemi. Naomi. Orfa. Orpa y yo. and me. Noemi nos pidió a Orfa y a mí que regresáramos a nuestro, al hogar de nuestros padres. Naomi, Naomi uh, pleaded with us so that we would return to the, to the house of our parents. Tal vez, tal vez así 
tendríamos alguna oportunidad de volvernos a casar. Maybe that way we would have had an opportunity to remarry. Orpha regresó. Orpha returned. Aunque ella amaba mucho a Noemi. Even though she loved Naomi a whole lot. Yo no podía dejar a Noemi. I couldn't leave Naomi. Y Noemi tampoco podía quedarse en Moab. And Naomi couldn't stay in Moab. Ella era viuda. She was a widow. Era pobre. She was poor. Era extranjera. She was a foreigner. No tenía posibilidad de sobrevivir en Moab. She had no chance of surviving in Moab. A mí me pareció más aceptable seguir a Noemi hasta llegar a Israel. It seemed to me more acceptable for me to follow Naomi all the way to Israel. Para mí no era un problema ser yo la viuda. I didn't have a problem if I was the widow. No me importaba ser yo la pobre. I didn't care if I was the poor one. O la extranjera. Or the foreigner. Yo todavía estaba de luto cuando llegué a Israel. As I arrived in Israel, I was still in mourning. Y lo primero que hice fue recoger cebada en los campos junto con los pobres. One of the first things I did as I arrived in Israel was to glean barley from the planting fields in Israel. En Israel permiten que los pobres recojan, eh, cosechen de las esquinas de los campos. In Israel, it is permitted that the poor would glean from the corners of the planting fields. Y Dios se los había mandado hacerlo así. God had commanded this. Y por coincidencia, and just my mere luck, yo fui a recoger cebada de los campos de Boaz. As a coincidence, I ended up gleaning from uh, the fields that belong to Boaz. Y Boaz fue pariente de Elimelech, el difunto esposo de Noemí. And uh, uh, Boaz happened to have been a, uh, a relative of the late husband of Naomi, Elimelech. Y cuando yo le conté a Noemí que estaba recogiendo espigas de las tierras de Boaz. When I told Naomi that I was uh, picking up uh, barley from the fields that belonged to Boaz. Ella lo, lo, lo identificó como el pariente que podía redimirnos. She identified Boaz as the relative that could redeem us. Cuando Boaz me notó. When Boaz uh, caught a glimpse of me. Preguntó a sus eh, empleados quién era yo. He asked his, uh, his servants, who is she? Y ellos le dijeron, es Ruth, la Moabita. And they answered, that is Ruth, the Moabite. Que ha venido acompañando a Noemí desde Moab. That has accompanied Naomi uh, into Israel all the way from Moab. Boaz dio instrucción a sus empleados. Boaz gave instructions to all his servants. De que no debían de tratarme mal. Not to mistreat me. Al contrario. Instead. Les pidió que fueran generosos conmigo. He asked them to be generous with me. Y me pidió a mí. And he asked me. Que yo estuviera entre sus empleadas. That I would be part of his uh, female servants. Y es así como él me protegió de todo peligro. And this is how he protected me from any danger that may have befall me. Eh, es probable que cuando Elimelech salió de Israel. It is very probable that when Elimelech left Israel. Él haya vendido sus tierras. He might have sold all his lands. Y cuando Noemí volvió de Moab pobre, and when Naomi returned uh, to Israel poor, ella necesitaba la ayuda de un pariente. She needed the help of a relative. Para recuperar su heredad. To regain or uh, uh, get back her inheritance. 
eh, este pariente iba a comprar o redimir su heredad. This uh, relative would buy back or redeem her inheritance. Por eso se llamaba el pariente redentor. This is why it was called kinsman redeemer. Este pariente iba a ser dueño de su heredad junto con Noemí. This relative would become co-owners with Naomi of all her inheritance. Pero los descendientes de Noemí iban a quedarse con esa heredad. But Naomi's descendants would inherit all, all their belongings. Noemí perdió a sus dos hijos antes que tuvieran herederos. Naomi lost both her sons before they could leave any heirs. Y Noemí ya no podía tener hijos. And Naomi couldn't have any more children. Entonces le tocaba a este pariente redentor también redimirme a mí. So it was this uh, Kingsman, Kingsman's Redeemer's responsibility to also redeem me. Había un pariente que tenía más derecho que Boaz de redimirnos. There was a relative that had more of a right to redeem us than Boaz did. La Biblia no nos da su nombre. The Bible does not mention his name. Pero Boaz mostró amabilidad y generosidad hacia mí. Boaz uh, expressed gentleness and kindness towards me. Entonces fue que Noemí pensó que más bien Boaz sea nuestro pariente redentor. And this is when Naomi thought uh, that it would be better for Boaz to be our kinsman redeemer. Yo era viuda. I was a widow. Estaba de luto. I was still in mourning. Entonces Boaz no podía demostrar interés en mí. So it was impossible for Boaz to demonstrate any sort of interest in me. Entonces me tocaba a mí. So I had to. Demostrarle a él que yo quería que él me redima. It was my responsibility to let him know that I wanted him, that I desired him to redeem me. Me quité el luto el día de la celebración de la primera cosecha. I took off my morning attire on the celebration of the first harvest. Fue un día memorable y de mucha felicidad para mí. It was a memorable day for me. Y era el día ideal para hacerle saber a Boaz que yo lo escogía como mi pariente redentor. And it was just the perfect day to let Boaz know that I desired him to be my kinsman redeemer. Yo no le hice saber este deseo de una manera clandestina. I didn't, I didn't let him know in, a, in, a, in, a, in an underhanded way. Ni tampoco en secreto. Or a secretive way. Más bien, Noemí. Instead, my, uh, Naomi. Me ayudó, me enseñó a hacerlo con discreción. She showed me how to do it with lots of discretion. Para que no ponga nadie en aprietos. So that I wouldn't get anybody in trouble. Porque si yo hacía público mi interés de que Boaz me, me redimiera. For if I had made it known publicly that I wanted Boaz to redeem me. Entonces Boaz se hubiese sentido eh, obligado a eh, descubrir el pariente más cercano. Boaz would have had to have been, he would have been forced to, to find that closest relative that had to redeem me. Y este pariente más cercano. And this closer relative. Se hubiese sentido obligado a redimirnos. He would have been forced to redeem us. Porque si él se negaba. For if he had said no, lo hubieran visto como un hombre mezquino. They would have seen him as a mean man. Que no quiso redimir a la viuda de su pariente. That didn't want to redeem the widow of his relative. Es por eso que yo fui a los pies de Boaz de noche. This is why I went to Boaz's feet at night. Y le di a entender And que I let him know que yo quería que fuera él el que me redimiera. That I, I desired him to be my redeemer. Boaz entonces eh, solucionó esta situación. Boaz then resolved this situation. 
con mucha inteligencia. In a very intelligent way. Él um, me describió a mí. He described me. A este pariente cercano. To that other relative. Como Ruth la Moabita. As Ruth the Moabite. Entonces inmediatamente perdió interés en mí. So he then immediately uh, uh, had no desire to redeem me anymore. Entonces Boaz se casó conmigo. So Boaz married me. Y tuvimos un hijo que llamamos Obed. So we had a son, his name was Obed. Si usted se pregunta por qué Obed no aparece en la genealogía como el hijo de Mahlon, If you ever wonder how come in the genealogies uh, Obed does not show as the son of Malon, es porque Boaz y yo tuvimos un solo hijo. It's because Boaz and I only had one son. Si hubiéramos tenido más hijos, had we had more sons, Obed hubiese aparecido en la genealogía. Obed would have uh, come up in the genealogies as como el hijo de Mahlon y Mahlon, hijo de Elimelech. He would have shown up as uh, uh, Obed, son of Malon, Malon, son of Elimelech. Eh, Boaz era el padre legal de Obed. Boaz was the legal father of Obed. Pero Boaz tenía más derecho de que Obed continúe su descendencia. But Um, Boaz had more of a right that, that Obed would continue his lineage. Porque Boaz era tanto el padre biológico como el padre legal de Obed. Not only was Boaz the biological father, but he was also the, legal y the legal father, biological father and legal father of Obed. Y además, Obed fue su único hijo. And as we all know, Obed was their only son. Yo quiero hacerles saber lo que Dios ha hecho en mi vida. I want to let you know what God has done in my life. Dios me ha hecho sentir y saber cuán importante yo soy para Él. God has let me know, has demonstrated to me how important I am for Him. A pesar de que yo era viuda. Even though I was a widow. A pesar de que yo era pobre, even though I was poor, a pesar que no tenía hijos, even though I had no children, no tenía heredad, I had no inheritance, y era extranjera de una nación enemiga, and I was a foreigner from an enemy nation. Pero Dios fue el que me redimió. But it was God who redeemed me. Yo no tenía esperanza de que yo fuera redimida. I had no hopes of being redeemed. Pero Dios puso a Boaz en mi camino. But God put Boaz in my path. Boaz entendió mi condición de extranjera mejor que nadie en Israel. Boaz understood my condition or my situation as a foreigner in Israel better than anybody else in, in Israel. Porque la mamá de Boaz fue una extranjera. Because Boaz's mother was also a foreigner. La mamá de Boaz fue Rahab, la cananea de Jericó. Boaz's mother was Rahab, the Canaanite woman from Jericho. Ella se casó con uno de los espías israelitas llamado Salmón. She married one of the uh, uh, Israelite spies. His name was Salmon. Boaz no quedó encantado conmigo porque yo fuera hermosa. Boaz was mesmerized by my beauty. Yo no le caí bien a Boaz porque yo era tan popular y a todos les caía bien. He didn't like me because I was so popular and everybody loved me. Al contrario. Instead. Cuando mi pariente cercano supo que era Moabita, me rechazó. When that other relative that we talked about knew that I was a Moabite, he rejected me. Tampoco Boaz se sintió atraído hacia mí porque yo era una persona de poder y autoridad. Boaz was not attracted to me because I was a, a woman of power and authority. Al contrario. On the contrary. Yo era la última persona en Israel. I was the least of the least in Israel. Tampoco Boaz se deslumbró por mi inteligencia. Boaz was not awestruck because of my intellect. Más bien fue la sabiduría de Noemí. 
It was instead Naomi's wisdom. Que me guió para que Boaz fuera mi redentor. That guided me so that Boaz would become my redeemer. Boaz tampoco estaba impactado porque yo tenía un título de nobleza. Boaz was not uh, impressed because I had a nobility title. Al contrario. On the contrary. Yo no contaba para nada. I wasn't counted in Israel. Ni tampoco podía acercarme al templo. I couldn't even get close to the temple. Tampoco Boaz se interesó en mí porque yo fuera rica. Boaz was not interested in me because I was rich. Al contrario. On the contrary. De entre los pobres, yo era la más pobre. Among the poor, I was the poorest. Boaz no se impresionó porque yo andaba bien vestida y adornada. Boaz was not impressed because I was well dressed and adorned. Al contrario. Instead, cuando llegué a Israel estaba de luto. When I arrived in Israel, I was in mourning. Y no tenía yo ningún atractivo. There was nothing attractive about me. Pero sí le voy a decir. But I will tell you today. Que Boaz se sintió atraído hacia mí. That Boaz was attracted to me. Porque yo trabajé duro para apoyar a mi suegra Noemi. Because I worked hard to support my mother-in-law Naomi. Boaz también quedó impresionado conmigo. He was also impressed because porque yo amaba e hice un compromiso de cuidar de Noemi. That I made a commitment to take care of Naomi. Yo renuncié a todo lo que soy para seguir a Noemi. I gave up everything I was to, to follow Naomi. Yo hice un compromiso irrevocable de obedecer el buen consejo de Noemi. I made an, an unbreakable commitment to follow the wise advice of Naomi. Yo confiaba en Noemi. I trusted Naomi. Porque yo sabía que ella buscaba lo mejor para mí. Because I knew that she wanted the best for me. Aparte de todo, o sobre todas estas cosas. Above all. Boaz quedó impresionado conmigo. Boaz was impressed uh, uh, about me because. Porque yo demostré amor hacia el Dios de Israel, el Dios verdadero. Because I demonstrated love to the God of Israel, the one and only true God. Yo me entregué totalmente a Dios. I was completely consecrated to the Lord. Todas estas virtudes que vio Boaz en mí. All these virtues that Boaz saw in me. Hicieron más bien que él alabara move, a Dios verdadero. Move Boaz to, to praise the Lord. Yo soy Ruth. I am Ruth. La bisabuela del rey David. The grandmother to King David. I'm la, sorry, the great grandmother to King David. La abuela de Isaí. The grandmother to Jesse. La madre de Obed. The mother of Obed. El niño que trajo gran alegría al corazón de Noemi. The child that brought great joy to the heart of Naomi. Yo soy ancestro de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. I am an ancestor to, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yo prometí a Noemi antes de salir de Moab. I promised Naomi before we left Moab. No insistas a que yo te abandone. Do not insist that I leave you. Ni que me separe de ti. Or that I may separate from you. Donde tú vayas, yo iré. For where you go, I will go. Donde tú vivas, yo también viviré. For where you live, I will live. Tu pueblo será mi pueblo. Your people will be my people. Y tu Dios será mi Dios. And your God will be my God. Donde tú mueras, yo también moriré. Where you die, I will also die. Y allí mismo seré sepultada. And I will be buried there. Todo esto lo cumplí. All this I've kept. Para la gloria de Dios. For the glory of God. Y para testimonio de los que conocen mi historia. And as a testimony for all that know my story. Si tú eres pobre y has perdido todo. If you happen to be poor and have lost it all. Si tú eres viuda y tampoco tienes hijos. If you are a widow and you have no children. 
Si no tienes ni heredad ni familia. If you have no inheritance or family. O cualquiera que sea tu situación. Or whichever it may be your situation. Dios lo puede cambiar. God can change the situation. Dios puede cambiar toda situación. God can change any situation. Si tú permites hoy. If you allow him today. Que Jesucristo sea tu redentor. That Jesus Christ may be your redeemer. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, uh, Ruth, uh, <laughs> a.k.a. Pastor Luisa and uh, Raul. Uh, you guys make a great team. It's like y'all are married or something. Um, amen. Thank you. God can change our situations. Amen. Uh, no one is outside the bounds of God's grace, and uh, God is still in the business of writing redemption stories. Uh, thank you, Pastor Luisa and Raul, for bringing the word to us today. I invite you to stand with me as we close in prayer.